Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about saving images for web and using Photoshop to do that. And I'm also going to talk about uh, batch processing in the second part of this. So to start, we want to find our image in the directory and get some information about it. And by doing to do that, you'll want to right click on it and if you're on Windows, you'll choose um, properties and on a Mac let's get info and we'll want to look at two different things the size on the disk which in this case is 483 kilobytes which is definitely too big for web usually we will want to be below 100 kilobytes and then the dimensions here we'll also want to look at uh, in this case I think that's a little bit too big it's 1024 pixels wide by 768 pixels high so, I'm going to go back to my image, open with Photoshop, and here at 100%, assuming it's at the correct resolution, this is how big it's going to show on our website. So, <clears throat> you want to click image in the menu, and then image size, and the first thing you'll want to look at is the resolution. A lot of people make the mistake of leaving it at 300 pixels per inch, which is the resolution for print. And people who do that intentionally think that they're getting, you know, the bang for their buck. But in reality, the screen can only depict a maximum resolution of 72 pixels per inch. So when doing anything higher, you're actually losing out. You're making your image larger than what it needs to be. So always want to make sure it's at 72 for web and here um, you're, you're going to want to choose uh, well actually up here is what you'll want to look at the pixel dimensions and uh, it's 1024 wide right now and I want to make mine 760 which is a pretty typical size for pretty typical width for uh, full screen web <clears throat> So after I do that, I'm going to want to save for web and devices by clicking File and choosing Save for Web and Devices. And it will give you four different panes. Um, you can Control or Command plus or minus to zoom in and zoom out in these panes. So I'm zooming out to see the whole thing. And these are different quality levels. 60 quality will produce 72 kilobytes. 30 quality to produce 34 kilobytes, so I usually like to stay around here. Um, you can also go for 2 up, which will only give you two choices. So 4 up, 2 up, 4 up um, is where I'm at now, and I'm in, in this window, and it's based on a high setting. So you can also change this and see that the size is changing. You can see the effect of it, of quality on the image itself, showing here. So Usually I go for very high, but in this case, uh, since the image is so large, I'm going to go for high. 72K, that's a pretty good size. That's not that bad. Um, so that's where I want to stay, I think, with this one. And I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to just replace it. It's asking me if I want to replace the image, which I'm going to do. Why not? So that's done. And that's how you save an image for web. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go into uh, batch processing. So let's say we want to save a bunch of images, well let's say we want to resize a bunch of images and we want to save them all for web. So the first thing I usually do is create a height and width folder. A height folder is where all of my images with a larger height than width are going to reside. So I put them all there and I put all the width images in the width folder. This one shouldn't be there. Okay. So I'm going to open up this image to start. Um, and you can see it's huge and you go to window up here and click on actions and now open up your actions window or sometimes you can see it on the right side of your of your photoshop window and now i'm going to want to click on this icon down here which is going to make a new action you can see all the other ones i've done in the past up and down the window so once you do that 
you'll see this pop up and I'm going to call it uh, height resize and save and <clears throat> I'm going to click record and you can also see the, the those buttons down here it's not recording what I'm doing in the room uh, <laughs> It's not recording the audio or the video, it's just recording the actions that I take in Photoshop. So the first action I'm going to take here is, for this image, I'm going to change the size. I'm going to click image, image size, and I'm going to want to make all these images 600 high, and I'm going to keep them proportionate by making sure this is here. Okay, so, and I also want to make sure they're all 72. So yes, that's good. And I'm going to click OK, and you can see it just it just recorded that action I did here. This is um, this is our action, and it just added something to it, the image size that I just did. And I'm just going to save this for web devices. And sure, that's fine. And this is actually going to go in our height folder. I'm replacing where it was and it also recorded that and now that those are the only two things I want to have happen with these images so I'll click stop and now that's it the action has been created so now <clears throat> I can I can open up an, a, uh, an image and press play and <clears throat> I'll do that for you right now. So here I have another image, and I'm gonna have my action highlighted down here. I'm gonna push play, and see it just it just resized it and it saved it for web. So another cool thing is clicking File, Automate, Batch, and here. Set we can choose uh, or action. We can choose the action that we just created, which is actually below um, this the screen that you guys see. Uh, but I'm choosing the one we just created. Here it is: height, resize, and save. Now the source is what folder or where do we? Um, we can choose just the open files that are in Photoshop, or we can choose a specific folder. Click folder, choose, and. Uh, Well, I could do any folder. I, I could do the one I was just in, but I think I'm going to go with. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to go with the height folder, the one that I was already in. Choose that. Click OK. And it's just going through that whole folder, and it's just doing that action to all those images in the folder. So that's as easy as it is to do a batch process and to save images for web. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Have a great day.